Hello, welcome everyone on behalf of the entire Sustainable San Mateo County's team. My name is Christine Kohlzaug and I am SSMC's Executive Director. I am thrilled that you are all here tonight so that we can together celebrate our sustainability champions tonight. Welcome to SSMC's um, 21st Annual Awards. One second here. This year, we have quite a few awards categories and uh, I'm thrilled to celebrate with you. We have winners in the following categories, sustainability, green building, Ruth Peterson and Reach Codes. Here is a summary snapshot. We'll learn more about each one of our winners during this evening's program. All right, are you ready to get started? As you can see, we have quite a packed program tonight. After a short introduction, we'll start with our three sustainability award winners, followed by our Ruth Peterson awardee. We'll then learn more about our Green Building Awardees and we'll finish our program with our Reach Code Award winners, four cities and the County of San Mateo. A note here to thank our sponsors who are making this possible. Huge thanks go to our benefactors level sponsors, Facebook, Linkso, Perkins and Will, the Sandhill Foundation and the San Mateo County Transit Agen Agency. Our thanks also go to our community level sponsors, Boanon, Graystar, Peninsula Clean Energy, South San Francisco Scavenger and Western Allied Mechanical. Last but not least, many thanks to all our neighborhood and friends category sponsors. We are proud that many of you have been supporting us for many, many years, and we look forward for continuing this great partnership with you all in the future. A big round of thanks goes also to our videographers, Rick Bacigalupi for the Rich Code Awards video and the Reiki Center for all the other videos. With that, let me tell you a little bit about our organization. Sustainable San Mateo County, or SSMC for short. We are a nonprofit whose vision is a sustainable future for everyone in San Mateo County. We look at sustainability through the lens of the three E's, social equity, a vibrant and green economy, and a healthy environment. We hope you are inspired by our mission. If you are so inclined, help us please by making a donation tonight to enable us to continue a positive impact on the community. You can do so now by going to charityauction.bid forward slash SSMC. Repeat, it's charityauction.bid forward slash SSMC. There is a link on the home page, or you can also go on our website at www.sustainablesanmateo.org. With my thanks for your consideration. We just had our first virtual live auction a few weeks ago and came very close to our goal. So if there is anything at all you can do to help us close the gap, that would be wonderful. Thank you. Now, here is a quick glance as who is behind SSMC. In addition to the staff composed of our indicators program manager, Akansha, and my executive assistant, Marjorie, as well as myself, we have an eight member strong board of directors who is very dedicated and involved. Many of our board members are past mayors, including our board chair, Terry Nagel, 
She used to be the former mayor of Burlingame. I also want to take, speaking of mayors, I, I do want to take the opportunity here to thank all the elected officials who have been able to join us tonight. We are honored and um, thank you for taking the time to join us here tonight. On our board of directors, we also have an environmental professional, a lawyer, and guests, even a wine lover and connoisseur. SSMC also has a solid advisory council and can rely upon a group of 50 plus longtime amazing volunteers. Thank you so much volunteers for helping us um, make our work possible. Lastly, SSMC also welcomes interns. This summer, we are especially fortunate to have a few of them. And tonight, I believe we have Lizzie and Kai who are with us here. They all have been doing amazing work for us and who knows, they may contact some of you for the work on our Sustainability Ideas Bank program soon. This list wouldn't be complete without a special shout out to our awards committee who worked hard to make this and the virtual auction possible. We couldn't have done it without you. Thank you so much for all the great ideas, help and support. If you ever want to combine doing something meaningful and having fun at the same time, please come join us. We've seen how beautiful our world can be with cleaner air, less traffic, and the return of birds and other animals. That's the world we like to live in all the time. Sustainable San Mateo County is a local nonprofit whose mission is to accelerate sustainability in San Mateo County. We address all three E's of sustainability, social equity, a vibrant economy, and a green and healthy environment. Only then can true sustainability be achieved. Sustainable San Mateo County has been advancing sustainability since 1992. Back then, many people didn't know what sustainability meant. I support Sustainable San Mateo County with my time and money because it is the one organization that practices systems thinking. You know, I volunteer with Sustainable San Mateo because I'm just a believer in volunteer activism. But I can probably sum it up in three words, attention, education, and change. That's what we strive for. You know, it's really hard not to support Sustainable San Mateo County. They are true stewards of our community. Our core programs are our indicators report, which tracks sustainability progress, our awards, which celebrate local champions, and our Ideas Bank, which shares proven solutions. We also advocate for sustainable policies and programs. Sustainable San Mateo County has really been a pleasure to work with. They're really the go-to group when it comes to collaborating on sustainability advocacy in the county. And I really admire the work that they do because they draw in the equity piece that's so important and they always strive for solutions that make good economic sense. It's really inspiring to be around people who believe that kind of change is possible. It's a great organization. If you have an interest in any aspect of SSMC, just raise your hand. There's a place for everyone from high school students to retirees. People look to California for new ideas. Right here in San Mateo County, I'm proud that we are leading the way forward. Sustainability is a team sport. We have a big mission and can use all hands on deck. So please come and join us. Sorry, little technical issue here. <laughs> Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the video and that it gave you a better idea of the kind of programs we are doing. 
Here are a few pictures that illustrate our work in the community. So let me just point out a few of the events here on this slide. On the upper side, on the right corner, so that illustrates one of our past uh, indicators report launch event. Those are yearly launch in the fall. We had it at Oracle. Thank you so much, Oracle. And then in the middle of the um, slide, you see a picture of our awards event when we could do it in person. Sorry, we are not able to do that with you here this year. Hopefully we can get back together very soon. And then lastly, I also wanted to point out at the bottom, so where you see Supervisor Pine moderating a, a panel. So that was our state Senate candidate um, event that we co-sponsored with other like-minded organizations like, organization, like um, Actera and uh, others. So we definitely are looking forward to collaborating with other organizations because together we can be stronger and have an even bigger impact. Okay, next slide, please. With that, are you ready to celebrate? We are starting with our sustainability awardees. This category recognizes winners that address each one of the three E's of sustainability, environmental impact, social equity, and economic vitality. The work must have a local impact in San Mateo County. And our first winner is San Mateo County Supervisor Dave Pine. Now we'll see a short video that will highlight some of Supervisor Pine's many achievements, followed by his remarks. There's no more important issue than addressing the climate crisis. And I've been working both to reduce the amount of emissions we're putting into the atmosphere, but also preparing for the consequences of climate change, which unfortunately are substantial and will become much worse. So everyone in this county uh, puts a high value on sustainability and fighting climate change. So every citizen, every resident is a stakeholder in our efforts. Well, Peninsula Clean Energy was a game changer for the County of San Mateo. Every one of our 20 cities in the county have aggressive goals to reduce the amount of carbon we're emitting. But by implementing a Peninsula Clean Energy, we're able to very rapidly substantially reduce carbon by cleaning the grid. And it also provides a foundation for future efforts because uh, electric vehicles that utilize clean energy are also not emitting carbon. Or homes that are powered solely by electricity fueled by Peninsula Clean Energy power do not emit carbon. So getting Peninsula Clean Energy launched, we were the fifth so-called Community Choice Energy Agency launched in the state. Uh, they're now about 19, so we really helped kickstart that movement across the state, and it's made a big difference. I mean, I'm really proud to work here in San Mateo County government, where we have a fantastic team of people who are uh, committed to sustainability and addressing climate change, and that work is primarily done through our Office of Sustainability. It's a relatively young office, it was uh, created about three or four years ago, and that's where uh, all our sustainability initiatives uh, re reside. So uh, I'm happy I've been able to support them and, and together we've been able to get a lot done and uh, we have a lot more to do, but we are a great team. I'm, I'm pleased that I was able to help launch the new San Mateo County Flood and Sea Level Rise Resiliency District where all 20 cities plus the county have, have come together in order to uh, build expertise, to work on projects across uh, jurisdictional lines, and to go out and compete for federal and state funding. We can't control what happens in India or China, or for that matter, Washington, D.C. But in San Mateo County, we can control what happens here. I'm honored to receive this award from Sustainable San Mateo County. There's no question that climate change is the defining issue of our time. San Mateo County has been a leader in taking up this challenge, and I look forward to continuing to work with all of you 
to both drastically reduce our carbon emissions and to adapt to a changing climate. Well, I know that you have, as in, you have been as inspired as I am after watching this video. Thank you so much, Supervisor Pine, for you and your colleagues' leadership. It makes me really proud to be a resident of San Mateo County because I know we are all in good hands and um, that you're looking with an eye to the future in a very proactive manner. So congratulations again to Supervisor Pine on winning a Sustainability Awards video. With that, our second awardee tonight in the sustainability category is the San Mateo County Office of Education, Environmental Literacy and Sustainability Initiative, or LC. Let's discover what makes this innovative initiative award worthy. After the video, County Superintendent Nancy McGee will say a few words. All right, ready to learn more? Here we go. Our mission at the San Mateo County Office of Education is to inspire students, invest in teachers, invigorate leaders, and involve communities. An initiative we have that speaks to this mission is our Environmental Literacy and Sustainability Initiative. This leadership initiative promotes environmental literacy and helps prepare school leaders to have a sustainable mindset and a climate-ready mindset that they can take across their campus, curriculum, community, and culture. A major milestone of this work involved piloting a number of programs. We're the first county office in the state to do this initiative, so we really needed to start from scratch. We piloted a number of capacity building programs, networks, and also services, and just to see really what worked for our community and um, what we could really continue to take forward. Another milestone that we achieved was um, getting bronze level recognition from the state of California in their green ribbon program. This program helped us set a baseline of where we were at in our own facilities and operations and also helped us better figure out how to assess our schools and our school communities with their baseline um, and has also helped us build programs and services for them. Because the San Mateo County Office of Ed is the first county office in the state to do this work, it was really important to us to design it as a model that could be scalable to other county offices of ed. And now that we're in the beginning of our third year of this program, we are seeing other county offices of ed really take this initiative on and start one in their own county. So we feel like that's another major milestone is creating this model that's scalable to other places. So in general, the San Mateo County Office of Education serves our 23 school districts um, and stakeholders range from students all the way to superintendents. That's the same for our environmental literacy initiative. In our work, we do programs that are directly for teachers, but we also have programs for administrators at the site level, at the district level, and we also run direct youth engagement programs. So we're really hitting like K through 12 students, but also the, all the adults in the education system as well. This would mean that all students every day would come to a place where they have access to outdoor learning and play, they have access to doing solutionary project-based learning in their classrooms, and they also have access to high quality environmental education field experiences. So when you view that vision through a sustainable lens, it really looks like kids showing up to a school community that is uh, a model for sustainability. So they step into a place that models sustainability from the facilities, but also in their classrooms, and it gives students a chance to really live out a sustainable lifestyle at school. So when they leave school, they go into their communities and they want to make that happen in their communities. On behalf of the San Mateo County Office of Education, we're just so honored to be receiving this award from Sustainable San Mateo County. We're just thrilled to be recognized for this important work for the planet and for social justice and equity in our community and our state. So thank you so much for recognizing our work. We look forward to being partners for many years to come. Well, congratulations again to the San Mateo Office of Education for their very unique and uh, exciting LC initiative. I think, you know, what's really exciting here is how uh, it has so much potential to be transferred to other school districts and just basically, you know, reach wide and broad. And I think for those of us who have children, uh, we get really excited because of course, you know, connecting young minds with uh, the natural environment and also getting them to think about hands-on project, that's really the future because that way it's really how we can foster 
innovation and help establish a deeper connection with our natural world. And basically, once you have that, you know, that's when you under begin to understand how everything is interlinked and how we are all part of a bigger system. And here at Sustainable San Mateo County, that's really what we strive for. We strive for a holistic view and we strive to looking at things from a systems-wide uh, perspective. So again, congratulations. All right, so with that, it's time for a break. So let's see who gets the facts right about our award ceremony. And sorry, yes, long timers have a tiny little bit of an advantage here. Is this true or false? SSMC and the American Institute of Architects San Mateo County chapter awarded the first Green Building Award in 2003. So again, is this true or false? So don't use the chat box, but rather text F for false or T for true at 650-868-8478. Again, that's 650-868-8478. Please write your name and where you live. And that will give you a chance to participate and win maybe a small mystery prize. We will reveal the winner at the end of the event. So please make sure that you stay with us until the end. Again, the number to write your response in is 650-868-8478. SSMC and the AIA SMC chapter awarded the first Green Building Awards in 2003. Is this true? T or false? F. With that, we have one more sustainability award winner to celebrate tonight. The campaign for fossil free buildings in Silicon Valley. And this one is really dear to my heart because SSMC has been one of the first organizations actually to join this very powerful and efficient coalition. And uh, I couldn't be more proud for the impact FF FFBSV has been having here in Silicon Valley. So now let's learn more about them right now. This will be followed up by Diane Bailey's acceptance speech. Diane is one of the key people behind FFBSV. Hi, my name is Diane Bailey. I'm executive director of Menlo Spark. We're a community nonprofit working towards a zero carbon future. And I'm also one of the founders of the Campaign for Fossil Free Buildings in Silicon Valley. We are a campaign comprised of 30 different organizations working together to phase out fossil fuel use in our homes and buildings throughout Silicon Valley. Well, we're working together to replace natural gas and other fossil fuels in new homes and buildings. And over the past year, it's been amazing to watch dozens of advocates come together and work with cities. In fact, uh, we've worked with 14 cities and the county of San Mateo so far to adopt policies that either prohibit or avoid natural gas and fossil fuels in new construction. Our vision for San Mateo County is for all of the homes and buildings to transition off of fossil fuels like natural gas for a cleaner, safer, and more resilient community and a climate safe future for our children. So I'm Tom Cabot. I'm a volunteer uh, in a number of different organizations, including Menlo Spark and the Fossil Free Buildings Campaign of Silicon Valley. I really enjoy the efforts that these groups are doing to help this area decarbonize. They're taking advantage of the clean electric energy brought forward by the community effort to develop Silicon Valley clean energy and Peninsula clean energy. They are giving us the clean electricity that now we can go decarbonize driving by having electric vehicles and decarbonize the whole built environment by using the new efficient electric heat pumps for water heating. I get to be on the Environmental Quality Commission in my local city of Menlo Park, and they were a leader in adopting these new REACH building codes for new construction to build buildings right the first time, to make them all electric. What sustainability means to me is this community working together, building on each other's efforts, and seeing how much progress we can make. So key elements are uh, clear goals and planning, tracking of, of metrics, 
uh, leadership and team members who are heavily involved and in, in part of the process. Sustainability uh, communities and individuals working to make sure that future generations can enjoy lives that are as good or better than what we have now. With local leadership, with the Campaign for Fossil Free Buildings in Silicon Valley, we can tip off a movement to end our fossil fuel dependency. Hi, my name is Diane Bailey. I'm with the Campaign for Fossil Free Buildings in Silicon Valley. Thank you so much to Sustainable San Mateo County for giving our campaign this award. I know that all 33 members of our campaign are honored just like I am. I can't name each and every contributor to our campaign, but they're all right here. And I wanna to highlight Tom Cabot, who helped kick off our campaign last year. And he also helped install this heat pump water heater in our home today, replacing fossil gas. This is what the future looks like. It's electric. All right quite a contribution indeed and as you can see i mean it really takes a uh, mind heart and hands all three of them to really make this happen and i think uh, as was mentioned in the the video we are really talking about a movement here the train has left the station and there is no stopping it the future will be carbon free it has to be carbon free and we are well um, positioned to, to reach our decarbonization goals. And that's thanks to groups like the Fossil Free Buildings, um, the Campaign for Fossil Free Buildings in Silicon Valley, who have done an amazing job at bringing together groups from all weeks of uh, life. I mean, so really many different groups and together once again, I mean, we see that the, the power that we have is not just doubles, but I mean, indeed, I mean, it's really, um, it's a factor 10, if not more. So congratulations again. I am thrilled that uh, the campaign for fossil free buildings in Silicon Valley and its leaders, Diane Bailey, Tom Cabot, uh, James Trulia, and others uh, have been recognized tonight. Now it's time to move to our next awards category the Ruth Peterson Award. So this category is named about after Ruth Peterson, who was one of the co-founders to, together with uh, Marsha Piggles of Sustainable San Mateo County. And, you know, think, to think that they started this organization close to like 30 years ago, really, when sustainability was not yet something that that people really understood. I mean, it was like this very new and vague concept. And to really see, you know, how they were able to, to make progress and um, educate the general public with the kind of programs and uh, initiatives that SSMC has been putting forward. It makes me really proud because I think we've come a long way and from its humble beginning, you know, um, SSMC used to be a group of friends that were concerned about the environment and, and got an awakening call after the, the Rio uh, summit. And to see where we are today and, you know, just the, the level of engagement of, from everyone, that's really humbling. So to go back to the Ruth Peterson Award, this really is our highest honor and it's awarded at the discretion of the board of directors to an individual who has contributed significantly to our mission. No applications is required for this award. And tonight I am thrilled to announce that the 2020 Ruth Peterson Award has been given to my dear friend Afsun Shardar for her extraordinary contributions towards our organization. Afsun is dedicated, she is reliable, and really truly is a force of nature and is deeply committed towards sustainability. Congratulations, Afsun. Let's hear her acceptance speech now. I'm honored to receive the Ruth Peterson Award and also would like to thank Senator Jerry Hill and the State Senate for the Certificate of Recognition. 
Supporting this great organization has never been more relevant. I urge and encourage our community to continue their support of this organization. Thank you, take care, and keep safe. Okay, great. Uh, again, I mean, help me and uh, congratulate Afsun. You can write her a little note for, I think everybody at, at this point in time is very familiar with uh, Zoom meetings. But just as a reminder, there is a chat box. If you go um, you know, towards the bottom of your Zoom meeting, you will see kind of like in the middle of your screen, there is this little bubble that says chat. And then you can actually, once you open the, the chat box, it will open as a long rectangle on your right hand side. And then you can actually see to whom you want to send a, a message. You can actually select that. So please uh, do send uh, Afsun some best wishes. She absolutely, totally deserved this award. And um, again, Afsun, thank you so much for all you've been doing for SSMC. All right. So with that, it looks like we have a little bit of time here. So I did want to highlight one of our key programs, which is also our newest program. We actually started um, this program last summer, summer 2019. And it is the Sustainability Ideas Bank. So the whole thought behind the Sustainability Ideas Bank was that um, how can we best help accelerate sustainability throughout the county? Well, an easy way to do that is by collecting and sharing proven solutions. Because, you know, um, if something can be done, there is a good, good chance that someone somewhere has already thought about it and, you know, may have a good solution. And frankly, we don't need to reinvent the wheel every time, right? So we have been working on vetting solutions that have been successfully implemented here in San Mateo County or also somewhere else. And some of the key points that we are looking for when uh, vetting and deciding whether we want to add a specific solution to our sustainability ideas bank is uh, whether this specific, specific solution is easy to scale up or down. And we also want to look at uh, how easy it is to replicate this solution. And then of course, the specific solution has to be impactful because you, know, you do want to spend your, your efforts on something that has like the biggest impact. And then what I wanted to mention about the Sustainability Ideas Bank that I think is pretty special about this program is our biggest bonus. So what we do is for each one of the solution we feature, we are including at least one and often we try a couple of contact information per solution. And that's the contact information of the person that has implemented the specific solution at their organization. So that could be either at a government organization or that could be either at a business. We are following a double track here. And then granted, uh, of course, I mean, often, you can have solutions that work for any type of organization. And then sometimes it's very specific to either the government or the business or, or business entities. So back to our contact person. So you can think of this person really kind of like your own personal coach in a, in a way. So that would be someone that you know, they have given their they have given their okay to be contacted and uh, they're ready to talk with you if you're in, interested in implementing a particular idea. And just to mention, so the solutions can be policies, there can be environmental projects, there can be also procedures or processes. What we are looking really is where the rubber hits the road. We are not looking for um, kind of like, I guess, um, uh, 
uh, how would you say that? I mean, we're not really looking for case studies and kind of an overview, but we are really looking at um, we are we are really looking at uh, the details here. I mean, that's really like uh, boots on the ground and what it takes to really implement a solution. What are some of the, the key barriers? What are some of the key enablers? And then also looking at ways to, you know, when you have barriers, uh, at ways that you can remove them. So um, we think that uh, including a contact person is pretty unique. And we think that's really helpful and that it really will help uh, accelerate sustainability and adoption within the county. We have been pretty excited about the progress we are making in this area. And I want here to take a minute to thank especially our summer interns. We have five summer interns with us this year. So there is Itash and um, Alisa, both high school students at Nueva High School. And then we also have Kai, Lizzie, and Kalista. All of them are Stanford students. So very, very bright and passionate young individuals who have been doing a terrific job. So, you know, you may be contacted by one of them um, <laughs> to talk about your, your solution. So we hope that you will welcome them and, uh, you know, be able to have some good conversation with, with, with you. And if you are interested in featuring a program or a policy or just, you know, something that is really impactful in moving the, the needle on the sustainability front, and if you're ready to share this with the, with the broad public, please, please, please do get in touch with us. And the best way to reach us is at advocate.sustainablesanmateo.org. So that's our email address. And I think at the end of the session tonight, we have a slide with our contact information. Or you can also go and visit our website that's www.sustainablesanmateo.org. All right, so with that next slide, please. Now we are actually going to, to, to talk about our next um, award category, the Green Building Award. And I'm very pleased and excited to introduce Don Merkis who will be introducing this year's Green Building Award winners. Dan is a principal at Group 4 Architecture, a very forward-thinking and progressive architecture firm. And she was one of our amazing judges for this year's Green Building Award. And I know they had a tough job because the, the entries were very competitive and um, I know it was not an easy task to decide who the, the winners were. So now over to you, Dan. All right. Well, thank you very much, Christine. It's my pleasure to be here and to be able to present the awards tonight. And for all of you trivia buffs, the first year for the San Mateo County Green Building Awards was 2003. And our goal of promoting green buildings in San Mateo County has been the result of the successful collaboration between the San Mateo County chapter of the AIA and the Sustainable San Mateo for almost 20 years now. This year's jurors, Diane Whitaker, who's actually been our liaison from the AIA since 2005, and Heather Young and myself, want to share that every year the entries for the awards improve. They continue to get greener and greener, they continue to be excellent examples of noteworthy architecture, and they continue to expand into different building types. This year's winners have kicked it up even another notch, with two of the projects being recognized for their achievements in creating beautiful, sustainable architecture. Our honorable mention project is the North Block Hillsdale Shopping Center in San Mateo. The project creates an all new outdoor mixed use dining and entertainment district. It provides a community gathering space. 
and bridges the adjacent emerging transit-oriented district with the existing interior shopping mall. What was really notable to the jury on this project was the unswerving dedication and leadership shown by the owners in promoting and following through with their sustainable agenda. This is usually very hard and not very typical in a retail setting. The 640,000 square foot north block is owned by Bohannon Development Company. It was designed by ELS Architecture and Urban Design of Berkeley and constructed by CW Driver of Pasadena. Let's now have a look at some of the images of the projects. And this will be followed by the acceptance speech by Bob Webster and Bohannon of Bohannon Development Company. Good evening, I'm Bob Webster, President and CEO of Bohannon Development Company, owners of Hillsdale Shopping Center. I would like to thank Sustainable San Mateo County and the San Mateo chapter of the American Institute of Architects for this Green Building Honorable Mention Award for our new North Block development. We envisioned the North Block to be a unique retail, dining, and entertainment complex. We commissioned ELS Architects and Michael Heacock Architects to design and implement a project worthy of lead gold recognition. Again, thank you very much for this award. Okay, well, that was excellent. So now the San Mateo Green Building Award for 2020, I'm pleased to announce goes to the Genentech Child Care Center. It is a LEED Platinum and Net Zero Energy building. It had opened up in June of 2018 on Genentech's South San Francisco campus. The 56,000 square foot child care center used a holistic design approach with emphasis on building performance, environmental protection, and human health and well being. It was designed by Perkins and Will of San Francisco and constructed by Rudolph and Sletten of San Carlos. One of the noteworthy elements of this project is its use of prefabricated mass timber structural elements, which not only contribute to the project's sustainability, but are also a key feature of the warm, attractive interior spaces. An amazing childcare facility, a great example of beautiful, sustainable architecture, and a great addition to our county's innovative green buildings. Let's now watch the video, which will be followed by Carrie Strahan's acceptance speech. At Genentech, we pursue groundbreaking science to discover and develop medicine for people with serious and life-threatening diseases. As a company that was founded on innovation, we strive to innovate in all aspects of our business, including the areas where our employees work and the environments that provide care to our children. When we began the design process, we held several visioning and sustainability workshops to understand what we should focus on in terms of sustainability for the project. Our three sustainability goals were, one, make it a net zero building, two, create a healthy building materials guideline, and three, achieve lead gold but target LEED Platinum. I'm happy to say we were able to achieve LEED Platinum and we are the first and only LEED Platinum building on the South San Francisco campus. So at the center's opening, families expressed so much excitement about seeing the sustainability grid that we have available in our lobby that really shows in the moment energy savings and equates that to the number of trees that are saved. This is so relatable to children as they look at how many trees that they saved um, and already are making that environmental imprint. These collection of five buildings have a unique sawtooth roof that allows natural daylight to be harvested into each classroom and the temperature gets hotter, warm air can actually go out of these operable clear stories. We chose to expose the wood structure on the inside of the building as part of the educational story. By exposing it, you just create this warmth inside the classrooms that we really wanted to enhance for children. The ages of these children are you know, infants through five years old, and this is such an impressionable age. We thought that by exposing the wood wherever we could, we would really give it that, that warmth we were looking for. The building itself, along with Bright Horizons child care practices, exceed expectations for quality child care. To know that we are providing children, families, and staff with an environment that is based on sustainability is truly comforting. So with optimized building, daylighting, dimming, 
a low energy HVAC system and renewable energy, we are happy to say that we have met the net zero goal and continue to track it on an annual basis as we move forward. In the midst of a climate crisis, green buildings have not only allowed us to improve our energy efficiency, but they also help us minimize our overall carbon footprint. And most importantly, they're helping us preserve the planet for our children and our children's future. On behalf of all of us at Genentech, along with Perkins & Will Architects, Rudolph & Sletten General Contractors, and Bright Horizon Second Gen, we are honored to celebrate with you tonight and so proud to be the recipient of the 2020 Green Building Award. Thank you, Sustainable San Mateo, for bringing us all together, albeit virtually. This project has been special to me because it brought together like-minded individuals who care about the environment while creating a facility for the next generation. Thank you for recognizing our achievements and inspiring us to continue striving for a more sustainable future. Wow, I mean, with these amazing buildings, who wouldn't want to go back shopping or, you know, if they are fortunate enough to work at a place like Genentech to just take advantage of just, you know, being in this amazing environment. I mean, it's really where aesthetics meets sustainability. And I, I am just thrilled to see, you know, what's possible. And again, you know, that's really leading the way and showing us what's possible in the future. So congratulations to both our awardees and you and your teams have really been leading the way. So I hope you enjoyed watching these videos as much as I did. And now, before we move to our next segment, here are some ways for you to stay connected with SSMC. As Monica, one of our very long um, time volunteers and very involved volunteers, she's actually part of my social media team with uh, Gianna. And uh, you know, hopefully I will get a chance to tell you a little bit more about our virtual happy hours a little bit later in this program. So anyways, as Monica say, said in our introduction video, there is something for everyone at SSMC. So please sign up to receive our newsletter. And if you can and want to be involved a little bit more actively, uh, feel free to contact us and ask us about volunteering or joining our advisory council or even our board of directors. Uh, don't be shy and please do get in touch with us. We would love to hear from you. All right, just also a quick uh, reminder that we st could still use your help to close our small fundraising gap. So if you haven't already done so, please consider donating now. Thank you so much. And with that, we are now moving to get to yet another exciting awards category. In fact, a new category for us this year. Presenting our Reach Code Awards winners is Robert Whitehair. Robert is one of our board members and has been very, very active helping us promote Reach Codes. He has been a staunch advocate for decarbonization and also is very knowledgeable about all the more technical aspects of the REACH codes. So thank you, Robert, so much for all your expertise and help. Now, passing it on to you. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Christine. SSMC is pleased to present its first REACH code awards to the County of San Mateo and four local cities, Brisbane, Menlo Park, Pacifica and my hometown, wonderful San Mateo. They're being honored for adopting reach codes that will result in safer and healthier buildings, increase electric vehicle charging infrastructure and reduce carbon emissions. California and Silicon Valley are leading the country in eliminating fossil fuels and new construction. 31 cities and counties in the state have adopted reach codes and more than half of them are here in Silicon Valley. This week, the city of Burlingame became the sixth local city to adopt REACH code. So let's watch a video now about our county's REACH code awardees, followed by acceptance speeches from four of those local governments. Thank you. 
Moving to all electric buildings and electric vehicles are critical steps to reducing greenhouse gases. This Building Reach Code initiative is helping us to accelerate progress in this area. Dozens of agencies across San Mateo and Santa Clara counties work together with outstanding results. An innovative approach, by Menlo Park in particular, made building electrification codes more effective and easier to administer. Well, REACH codes for the City of Menlo Park look at ways to reduce greenhouse gases and provide a higher standard for um, reaching our, our climate action goals. Having these REACH codes are standards for business, but also residential. So it would include all construction in Menlo Park to some degree. Even though it was controversial, we were able to get through the process, and I believe we were one of the first cities to do that. It's exciting to have an impact that is regional because we are all connected to one another here in San Mateo County. Brisbane adopted a model of our REACH codes based on the Menlo Park model. So Brisbane's biggest contribution to the REACH codes was our innovation relative to reaching beyond what was set down for us to do specifically in the area of solar, how we're looking at our new buildings. The EV charging stations, all new residential dwellings will be required to have at least one level two EV charging station per dwelling, per unit. And for the commercial buildings, 25 to 50% of their parking as electrified parking spaces. I do believe that Brisbane has some of the strongest EV codes in the state, which is great. From this joint initiative, 15 municipalities adopted these building and EV charging reach codes. This is half of all the cities in the state to enact similar actions. San Mateo was among the first cities in California to adopt reach codes. So we're proud to be a trailblazer when it comes to reach codes. In our climate action plan, the way that we build our new buildings is going to impact the environment for the next 30 to 50 years. Natural gas is still a fossil fuel, and so the more we can use electricity in our new buildings, the more we can require solar panel installation, the less greenhouse gases will be emitted, and we will be able to get to a point where our new buildings are actually carbon neutral. Uh, now is the time for us to act. It's not as hard as you may think it is. You'll look back and you will wonder what took you so long. City of Pacifica is getting the Fast Track Award because we were able to adopt the REACH codes at the same time as the standard three-year, what's called a triannual California Building Code update. The purpose of this item is to provide general information about what REACH codes are. And then we were able to incorporate the direction that City Council gave us into the triannual update in November, and it passed on the first reading. It's easier for our customers to adapt and understand and not have uh, continuous changes in the regulations that they need to comply with. So it was accepted by our contractors, it was accepted by our city council, because really what it comes down to is keeping it simple. This is how change happens. We're now implementing reach codes in our community. Bold leadership is saying, you know what, we're gonna go for it. Here in San Mateo County, we're leading by example. Sustainability in a clean environment and taking these bold initiatives, it's more important now than it's ever been. My colleagues here on the Board of Supervisors really put forth legislation that will save lives and make our environment safer for others. The REACH codes, it's just about innovation, making things better in progress. We need to lessen our carbon footprint San Mateo County is extraordinarily proud to stand with these incredible and great cities, cities of leadership, Menlo Park, Brisbane, San Mateo, Pacifica, covers the gamut of San Mateo County right there. You got north, you got south. Now we just got to fill in some other cities. Congratulations to all and welcome to the SSMC REACH Awards. Thank you, Sustainable San Mateo County, for supporting Brisbane's efforts in sustainability with this REACH Code Award. With guidance from our Open Space and Ecology Committee, 
city staff, and the advocacy of other cities and our residents, these REACH codes will make a difference in protecting the environment and the people who live and work in Brisbane, the City of Stars. Thank you. Deirdre Martin, City of Pacifica. The City of Pacifica is thrilled to be accepting the REACH Code Fast Track Award. Environmental sustainability is one of our overarching goals for Council, and this provided us with an opportunity to be able to achieve even more efficiency in emissions than mandated by the State of California. It was a very technical and complex effort, and it would have been very difficult um, for us to achieve the milestone alone. I want to thank our building division as a whole, in particular Joshua Montemayor, who was very instrumental in drafting the ordinance, and Bonnie O'Connor. Uh, we are very grateful for the assistance and support of Peninsula Clean Energy, Silicon Valley Clean Energy, and San Mateo County Office of Sustainability. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Joe Goethals and I have the pleasure of serving as mayor of the city of San Mateo. Tonight I am honored to accept the Sustainable San Mateo County Reach Code Trailblazer Award. The city has a long standing commitment to protecting the environment and we know that pushing for greener buildings will help reduce our community's greenhouse gas emissions. The city just updated our climate action plan that sets ambitious climate goals to support a sustainable and vibrant San Mateo. Thank you so much for this award, and we look forward to working with Sustainable San Mateo today, tomorrow, and into the future. Thank you. We are proud to be the first jurisdiction in the county to require all electric new construction with a REACH code. We know that two of the top carbon emission sources in San Mateo County are from gasoline used in vehicles and natural gas used in buildings. We are honored to stand with other San Mateo County jurisdictions that have passed REACH codes and are excited to be working towards a carbon-free future. Wow, so that was truly inspiring. And I'm not going to add too much because I see that we are slowly reaching the end of our program and I've seen a lot of activity in the chat box, but Many, many, many thanks to all the jurisdictions who have taken the leap of faith, um, you know, and led with courage. There is no doubt in my mind that as Supervisor Kenneth said, I mean, we have the north, we have the south, we have the cities in, at the coast, and now we just have to fill in, and that's going to happen. I mean, it's not a question. And I believe we are well on our way to see more faster happening in our county. So with that, now the moment you've all been waiting for, drum roll, ding, 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 ding. And here's our trivia winner for tonight. And that's Adam Lorraine in San Mateo. So congratulations, Adam, you won a drawdown book and I will be in touch uh, with you to handle logistics. All right, so um, Rocky, we're actually skipping this slide. And I did want to close now with a few save the date um, notifications. For those of you who know about our virtual happy hours, we started them right when the pandemic um, met, uh, pandemic hit us as a way to stay connected. Each month we get together on a Zoom call on a specific topic. And really this is a forum to hear your thoughts and your ideas on different uh, topic area. Our next uh, happy hour will happen on July 29th from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. And the topic is going to be energy resilience. We are currently finalizing the um, topic. Probably Peninsula Clean Energy will kickstart the discussion with a short introduction into the topic. I hope you will be able to join us for this one. Uh, you can always email us or, you know, stay tuned and look for a notice in our newsletter. So hopefully we'll see you then. And then I also wanted to mention, uh, Rocky, next slide, please. So that's our upcoming indicators report launch event this fall, probably uh, late September. So stay tuned. More information will be coming up soon. That's another one of our flagship uh, programs. All right, so with that, let's have a look again at our 2020 award winners. 
and thank them all for their leadership in advancing sustainability. Well done. I'm proud to have been able to celebrate with you. So with that, uh, thank you for joining us tonight and celebrating our amazing awardees with us. So please do stay in touch. You see that's the email at which you can reach us, advocate at sustainablesanmatteo.org. Or feel free to also call us at 650-918-1992. On behalf of the entire Sustainable San Mateo County's team, we hope that you had a great time. Goodbye. <laughs>